Hey there folks, this is Ghost Ama from Trigrams Productions bringing you another episode of One Gun Only. In this episode we'll be visiting another gun that has been in all three Halos and uh, let's see how it changed throughout these wonderful 10 years of uh, explosions and destructions. Uh, let's go see. Hi there folks, welcome back to another episode of One Gun Only. I'm almost back to my full strength and today we'll be testing Needler. Now due to the circumstances I ah, killed. Due to circumstances I will be using armor lock because sometimes I just get that uh, twitch that tells me use it, use it to save your own uh, imaginary life. But uh, the custom stays the same. I'll be using only Needler. And uh, I'll be using it to, to kill enemies like... Oh, assist. Oh well. Now, um, as you can see, it's very useful. We're gonna do that. We're gonna walk back. We're gonna have a guy come up here. Through a... Uh, we're gonna try... And we get beat now. <laughs> um, uh, unlike, in, uh, um, unlike like in other Halo games, Needler got... Uh, I don't know whether to consider it a boost. Or maybe just a change of how it plays. In any case, if in previous Halos it would detonate, no matter if the opponent has the had the uh, ooh, lag, if the opponent had or did not have a shield. But in Halo Reach, it detonates only if the opponent is shieldless. Oh, should have used armor lock, but uh, my twist didn't work. <laughs> um. So yeah, the fact stays the same. Uh, let's see if we can get this kill. We got this. We did not get this kill. We're gonna try and mop him up, mop him up, mop him up, mop him up. And we did kill them, but died too. Um, this is really a hard weapon to use, especially in close quarter maps like Sword Base. Um, I generally don't even bother with this loadout. I usually go for my pistol loadout. I uh, yeah, I usually go for my pistol loadout and don't even bother with Needler, no matter how wonderful a weapon it is. I still and we're out of ammo. Wonderful. I much rather use the plasma pistol as my weapon of choice because technically it's it's amazing, right? Now, uh, as always, the ammo is a slight problem when playing Elite Slayer. Because, granted, you run out of ammo for this thing because it eats through you faster than Magnum. Let's see if we can get some new ammo. Yes, we did. We try and get this kill. We got this kill. Let's just. And I did not. We're gonna get to him, and we died. Um, so I used armor lock only twice for now, and even then didn't save me. It caused more harm than good. You know, um, we talked about armor lock before, and um, I, in a certain episode I said I really did not like it. And it's not even because... It's just because sometimes you really do deserve a kill. And then some schmuck will just... And we got a triple kill. Triple kill. Can you imagine that triple kill with a needler? I am yet to see myself actually doing that. And he's gonna armor lock and we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. He might not die, he might die. He died. Uh, armor. Okay, okay. You know there's a lot of controversy about armor lock, and I don't wanna be on either side of the fence. And we got stuck, but I much rather see it gone from certain game types. No, not Elite Slayer. No, not at all. Let it stay in Elite Slayer. But I definitely do not want to see it in some game types where, and I do not want to see it in some game game types where um, it's just not even ruins it. It just destroys the balance. Yes, yes, yes. I can wait for it to chill out. Yes, I can wait and I can try to kill him faster, but one headshot away to kill an opponent and then boom, 
I can't even get myself the pleasure of seeing his brains on the wall. We got, we got a, um, yeah, I, I do not want, uh, you know, once again, I'm picking size right now, but I'm, I'm just saying that as a player, I do not want to use armor. Lock. I much rather use a, uh, some other armor ability, which will benefit not only me, but also my team. An armor lock benefits only you and nobody but you. Let's try and get the kill on this guy. Let's get a kill on this guy. As you can see, um, even though I I'm not keen to using this weapon, it still manages to do its job just right. Especially mopping up kills. So we mopped up that kill. Good night. Let's see if we if we get that guy. He definitely did not have armor lock. This guy might have armor lock. Yes, he did. And we died. Ugh. What a shame. Um. Yeah. We're talking about sword base already, so no point talking about that. But let's talk about elites. Um, I know a lot of players do not do not look at elites as anything but a uh, a nuisance, especially in Halo 3. But let's let's just look at it from a uh, standpoint of a player who enjoys playing as elites. What is so bad about playing as an elite? Really? What do you have to lose? Fine, maybe maybe in SWAT in Halo 3. That also was a controversy, but come on, it's an elite. Look how cool he looks in Halo 3. Why wouldn't you want to use an elite in Halo Reach? We gonna oh no, we did not get shot by an elite rifle. I guess the person will did not think their action through. So we're just gonna wait and whoever comes out first of armor lock, are we gonna kill? Oh, double kill once again. See? And we killed him too. People just, it's just silly. It's just silly. I might not get first place. I might. It doesn't matter. We're gonna get that kill and then we're gonna try. We're gonna try and kill him. We, did. we won with a score 25. Yep, we won with a needler only. Um, yes, I did slip up and I used armor lock twice, but neither time saved my life nor caused the opponent to lose their shield, so I think it's fair. So let's see the score. And uh, our score is 25 kills to 9 deaths with 16 kill death ratio, as opposed to everybody else with 9, 6, 0. Everybody else is down below. So, yeah. It's, it's a good weapon to use. I'm pretty sure this for a Spartan will be even faster to kill since quote unquote their shields are weaker or whatever nonsense you lead players might think. But yeah, this is this was fun. This was fun. I really did not expect Needle to perform this well at such close quarters considering that double beatdowns are pretty n prone to happen in uh, Elite Slayer. Um, thank you for watching. My name is Ghost Tom from Trapness Productions. Please comment, please subscribe, visit machininationcom if you haven't, and uh, I'll see you next time. Maybe next time there will be a special weapon to test. Alright, peace. Uh, this is a last minute edit. Um, there's a certain viewers who still think these are not real, and one of the things they used is saying, uh, Oh man, there's no credits showing up. Thus, it's not a matchmaking game. Please, go into a theater mode and see if your credits pop up. I do not like being called a liar. And I will defend myself until you break down and apologize. I don't care if it's YouTube or not. You accused me of something and I will hunt you down. Go into your theater mode and see. That's how I record my videos. I play a game, I do a live voiceover and then I record the video through theater mode since it's the only way to record it without any lag issues for me anyway so please please take note of that thank you